If you are unlucky enough to be hospitalized anywhere in the world, you have at least a 1 in 10 chance of suffering a medical error. That's right, a 1 in 10 chance. And in the United States, preventable medical errors are now the third leading cause of death. And in other countries, the problem is equally severe. I am sure you're asking, why are there so many errors? The answer, fragmented and poorly designed healthcare delivery systems. We have created an approach that can continually improve and integrate these systems by adapting Toyota production system or lean to healthcare. We call this system patient-centered healthcare delivery, PHD. This name emphasizes that everyone must use the scientific method, like a PhD, to continually improve our systems of delivery, always focusing on the patient. Let me share a schematic drawing of a house that illustrates how the key elements of this system work together. I will start with what I regard as the two key pillars of PHDS. Continual improvement guided by the scientific method employing PDSA or Plan Do Study Act improvement cycles. These improvements should be guided by the input of those working on the front lines. The second pillar is mutual respect and transparency. Everyone works together and everyone shares the problems they are facing. Nothing is shoved under the rug. Everyone should openly discuss all problems they are encountering. In other words, establish a culture of safety. These pillars hold up the roof, which represents value-added care for patients. Everything we do in healthcare should be of true value to our patients. The foundation of PHDS is waste reduction. A very valuable tool for eliminating waste is 5S. The floor of the house and the platform for all improvement is standardized work. And without standardized work, there can be no improvement. Within the house are value stream maps to establish smooth and efficient workflow. Once the current value streams are understood, process mapping and rapid improvement events can be used to eliminate bottlenecks, remove wasteful procedures, and level workflow. Two valuable tools for helping with RIEs are the A3 form used to summarize the rationale and implementation plans and the Pareto chart used for establishing the priorities for improvement. Finally, when error proofing is effectively implemented, errors are prevented from ever reaching patients. Visual controls can also help to reduce errors, as well as enhance the ability of those on the front lines to monitor work progress. These proven tools and principles work together to create a comprehensive and highly effective system that can dramatically improve the efficiency, quality, and safety of patient care. Experts in manufacturing and engineering claim that when this system is fully implemented, productivity increases by fourfold and errors are reduced by 99%. Shouldn't every health system adopt PHDS 